of the prosecutors with the Special Presidential Investigation Panel, SPIP, for recovery of public property, Uluwatosin Ojamo, has accused the Attorney General of the Federation AGF and Minister of Justice Ababa Kamalami, SAN, of withholding approval for the prosecution of hundreds of assets for future and other criminal cases. Page 36 length. The prosecutor explained that the cases were investigated and handed over to the AGF's office by the SPIP. On the directive of President Mohamed Buhari in 2019, the president had, on, had in September 2019 dissolved the SPIP while directing the AGF to immediately take over all outstanding investigations and other activities of the SPIP. In November 2019, over 500 cases were over 500 cases files were retrieved from the office of the disbanded panel and an eight-man panel was set up by the Department of Public Prosecutions, DPP in the Ministry of Justice to review the heaps of files. Meanwhile, according to Prosecutor, Malami has failed to file the cases in court in violation of the Presidential Directive and Section 1 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, ACG. J.A. 2015. He cited the case of two brothers, Ibrahim and Tijani Tumash, Tum Tumsa, who he said allegedly retrieved with that due process. It is his expensive vehicles and real estate seized by the SPIP on the orders of a federal high court. The lawyer demanded the prosecution of the siblings and other cases in a letter with reference number OOC slash TOL slash 12N slash 07 slash 2020 dated July 14, 2020 titled Request for the Prosecution of Ibrahim Tumsa and Tijani Tumsa for Contravention of the Recovery of Public Property Special, Special Provisions Act 2004 addressed to the AGF. Copies of the letter were also sent to the President, Vice President Yemi Oshibaju, the Inspector General of Police, IGP, Muhammad Adamu, Chairman, Presidential Advisor Committee on Anti-Corruption, PACAC, PACAC, Professor Ise Isagi, Ise Sagi, Transparency International, TI and the United Nations UN Office on Drugs and Crime. The, the properties retrieved by the Tumsas included four houses in Wuse 2 and Jabi and a quarry plant in Kuje, Abuja, as well as 86 exotic vehicles comprising of a Wrangler SUV, Audi ASL, Toyota Hilos van, Ford Soros, Mercedes-Benz S550, Mercedes-Benz GL550, Toyota Land Cruiser, Toyota Prado SUV, and many other expensive vehicles. They were said to have been unsealed under suspicious circumstances and returned to two firms, Integrated Service Insurance Limited and Integrated Bureau the Change Limited, belonging to the defendants who were previously arraigned on two counts. Ibrahim, a former director of finance and administration at the Defense Ministry of Power, Works and Housing, while his brother Tijani is the former vice Chairman of the Dissolved Presidential Committee on Northeast Initiative, Tijani was recently appointed as the Interim National Secretary of the All Progressives Congress APC National Ketika Committee, headed by Governor of Yubi State, May Malam Malabuni. The siblings were investigated by the SPIP, chaired by Oko Obna, Obon, Obna, Ob, Obla, over their alleged failure to declare ownership of the properties while being public servants. Obuna, Obuna, Obla and other members of the panel were removed in a controversial manner and were directed to hand over the federal government's properties in their care to the government. The chairman of the panel was also declared wanted by the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission, ICPC. However, Ojaomo said that the cases against the Tuma, Tumsas were dismissed due to the decision by the Court of Appeal that the SPIP did not possess the statutory powers to institute criminal matters. He disclosed 
that several attempts made by the panel to get authorization from the AGF to file charges against many criminal suspects failed. The letter read in part, until the removal of the members of the panel, your office refused to give the approval which led to the dismissal of the suit against the duo Ibrahim and Tijani and other matters instituted by the panel. What would have expected you to use your office, your good office as the AGF to save this matter by taking over and prosecuting them, but the ones that were taken over by your office were either withdrawn or application made for them to be struck out. This action has struck big damage to the anti-corruption war of this government as most of the criminal suspects in the indicted after investigations are back to town enjoying the stolen assets. The petition observed that it had been close to one year since the SPIP was dissolved by the president with a directive that all the matters handed, handled by the panel should be handled, handed over to the AGF for review and possible prosecution. None of these suspects has been charged to court as the case files are currently being kept in view at your office without any action and in clear violation of Section 1 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act 2015, the lawyer admonished Malami. Ojamo requested the AGF to either re-enlist the case against Ibrahim and Tijani Tumsa or prefer new charges against them as the properties which were seized from them what billions of naira had been returned to them under suspicious circumstances. The lawyer offered to prosecute the Tumsas if the AGF wants if the AGA grants content in accordance with Section 383, 1 and 2 and ACJA 2015, noting that the war of corruption must be fought without any sacred cow, as directed by President Buhari. Ojamo added that he has not been sacked as the SPIP special prosecutor, noting regrettably that the AGF has refused to allow him to continue with his job. He stated, I was appointed as a, as a special prosecutor and I wanted to continue the case. I was not sacked. The president only sacked the panel chairman, chairman and two members. I was not sacked and up to now, my letter of appointment is with me. I was supposed to continue prosecuting the cases, but AGF has not allowed me to function. He was supposed to give the support to prosecute the cases. I have written several letters to him. To allow me to prosecute the cases so I can recover money for the federal government. We are talking of over 600 cases. The prosecutor further said that he had visited the AGS office several times and also met with him, but that Malami failed to respond favorably to his request. Most of us that are ready to support the anti corruption war have been hampered by the action of the AGF. I have also visited his office they said they would get back to me but they have not done so up to now i met personally with the agf and he promised to reach me but nothing was done they just want to hold on to the cases until the tenor of the president elapses in all of this whole thing some people will say you what are you what are you talking no we are going to be talking based on what is on ground not that a uh, wait what somebody is saying you uh, whether this and this and that but what we can see is that the level of incompetency in this government is so high what is the president doing because somebody will not come and tell us that hey, don't you know this and that Every, you have your own way of relating issues but what we know officially is that what is the president doing in all of this is the level of the of incompetency is is so is i don't just know i don't know how to put it it's just too glaring for everybody to see in all of this for over five years this man has been there we don't even see him he will sit down they will tell you that uh, gaba she will say this uh, this person said it family additional said it basha ahmed or whatever said this this man will just be there he cannot even they will tell you that uh, he's not the talking type which talking type we are not doing action no wonder this uh, corruption fight uh, is something that you can't tell me that uh, this man does not know what is happening. We were even talking about Abakari being, uh, being uh, uh, the, the, the strongest Kaba or the leader of the Kaba then. But this AGF is another thing because we are not talking of what people are saying. The people who are at the presidency are saying the same thing. Uh, 
Professor Sage has said the same thing that this man is not ready to fight any corruption. He's not interested. He has said it and he has not debunked it. The, uh, Mago has been saying, has been singing the same song. Now see this man has been singing the same song. Is the one that will say this this case is not credible. He will strike them out. He will do this. He will do that. And the president is looking with all these revelations. He's not hearing all of these things. Somebody has been asking, does it mean he does, not, he does not read paper, he does not watch TV, or is it that they just camped in, inside one house, you, you cannot come out, you don't even know, he, he's, he's being barricaded for seeing what is happening in the outside world. What are we talking about? It's unfortunate. These are the, this is the same man, everybody, the, those who were even shouting, say Baba, say Baba. Is this how to run the government? Is this how to run the government with all of this uh, 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 whatever? This revelation, okay, we are talking about a um, um, mango. We know what has been happening. Some people might not believe the whole thing, but what of a sage and this man that is talking? A lot of people have been saying the same thing that this man has been has been an obstacle to the fight, this uh, corruption fight. So it's unfortunate that this whole thing is just is just there and nobody is saying anything. The so-called president is there; he will not say anything. What is even affecting Nigeria? He won't say anything. Can you see what is going on now? That Malami should be investigated over the petition he rose again against Magu. He has conspired with the looter in this country. He his purpose want, purpose want to remove Magu so that many will be covered or many of his atrocities will be covered. Northerners and their chief chief, that region will remain poor forever because they are caused. It's, it's affecting everybody. Let's forget all this, uh, whether Northern or whatever. What is happening in uh, the Niger Delta? What is happening in, in Southwest? Especially Lagos. What are we talking about? They are, these people are in the same family. You guys that are supporting them, you think hey, this is your person, you are supporting the person. You are just deceiving yourself because they, they are one family. When it comes to this whole thing, they are one family. And the masses are on their own. And you are saying, Northerners, you are saying this and that. Are you not seeing what is happening in the, in the country? In each state, go and see the atrocities being committed. Even in you that you are talking, in your own community, your own state, go, 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 your own state. See what go and see what they are doing there. You are talking about the northerners. These politi politicians all over the country, they are they are one family. They are in one cate. If you continue to believe that oh these northerners, all of them are the same. Oh. All of them are the same. Under Gulo Jonathan, we know a lot of things happening. Unfortunately, they use that as an excuse, an opportunity to enter to so that they will start their own. And don't forget, other sets are still waiting. Once they enter, the same thing will, be, will happen. Until when the, the masses they will, we will protest till the kingdom come if you are not going to be tired. But if you don't do anything, you are just talking, talking, nothing will happen. Somebody will say, what are we going to do? Oh, you should wait at, after four years. It will, not, it will not make any difference until we are on the streets demanding for the right thing. That is when these people will change. And if you don't, if you don't relent, if some people will not say, oh, no, I'm not part of it or this and that. That is when we can get it to, it is not by your voting. Uh, you just vote because the person you think you are voting for, he gets there, he will do something different. So what are you going to say? You still wait for another four years. You will be deceived again. Another person will tell you, oh, I'm, I'm going to do the right thing. You will think the person is there. Whether the person will get there and begin to see other things or other people from the, in that uh, uh, government will be withholding the person or frustrating the person to do the right thing. So what are you going to do? So are we going to be, just be there? The case of uh, the poor will continue to be poorer while the rich will continue to be richer. Is that the kind of life we want to continue? Until we are on the street, we demand for good governance. That is when these people will change. If not, you just talk and go and sit down. See the issue of Eva Lawa, nothing has been heard about it. See it is a Obla, Obla. The same thing. We heard about this and that. They will just suspend them. So does it mean that some people, even when they commit offense, they will just be suspended or they will tell them to recover or to to pay back what they have taken if they stab them and they will not be prosecuted. Is that and some people like that constitutional in their in our constitution that they need to be Handle in that manner. Some people can go to uh, jail. Some people cannot even go to jail. Your own is just to sack them and let them move on. Like what they are saying that uh, these two siblings, now, they are enjoying themselves, enjoying the loot because of the actions of a uh, uh, Malami. So guys, let us hear your opinion. Leave your comment below and let's have your take on this issue. Thank you.